Brought to you by Blazer, Sauer and Sons, Linke, Minux, and presented by Modern Huntsman. The top modern Christianus wine estate rises from the rolling hills of the Balaton Lake in Hungary. Pesticides soaked the hills, then came the artificial fertilizers, putting the depleted wine stock on life support while the rain let the fertilizers into the lake, injecting the steroids into the algae that bloomed and depleted the entire lake of oxygen, killing almost all life. When my friend Florian took over the production, it was time for new wines on new grapes. So we change so we look the same or you mean you should downsize yeah <laughs> <laughs> you will find sleep here in this comfortable bed it's trust me the, the <laughs> sleep is actually right now more valuable to me than the stack <laughs> florian and his partner laszlo works at the winery and shares a passion for biodynamic agriculture and for hunting it's COVID time so the hotel is closed and we have the place all to ourselves the vision and mission of german florian have now turned the prior depleted soil into a fruitful biodiverse heaven for flora and fauna. We are just used to drinking the other wines that are so consistent in flavor and we find one and then we stick to it and that's a kind of like a pattern we've gotten into. That's not really when you work with natural wines to my understanding there will be variety, a certain level of variety in it. Yeah exactly, yeah. That, that, that's normally the interesting thing in wine, yeah. right? That you have a wine in this place which reflects um, soil yeah. um, and the climate yeah. and the specialties of the year, was yeah. it a hot year, cold yeah. year. So you can find always a story different, of the yeah, year in the vine. Normally. It's so much more interesting to, to actually work that way and, and, and try to figure out these, these flavors and how they can actually complement each other and, and kind of lift each other up when you have these different profiles, when mm. it's not just like, you know, exactly the same every single time. And if somebody puts in a lot of uh, other things, copy yeah. paste, yeah. then you don't have an individual story anymore, right. then you have something yeah. flat. The biodynamic approach has now developed into a small farm, providing fresh and healthy raw materials for the restaurant. So we want to build up a herd, so they will stay. Okay. <laughs> if they behave nicely, they will not be Bolognese or something. Okay. <laughs> we head out for a little drive, scouting the terrain where we will go hunting for the next few days. And come across workers busy with the yearly grape harvest. Here you have totally different uh, biodiversity. There are forests, uh, different kind of trees, bushes, agricultural fields, quite little plots. We have uh, some hawks and mm -hmm. uh, falcons, birds, which also helps balance it helps out. balancing yeah. the insects. Biodynamic friend. They hunt a lot of lice, uh, right? Lice. It's always a good wind, mm -hmm. dry and cool. That wind. prevents the uh, mold. Or... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, after the rain, it's drying up quickly. Mm -hmm. Then the lake is also balancing the weather. And behind us it's a lot of uh, forest, it's also good and the flowering has already problems. How long? Three weeks ago everything was brown. Yeah. I could not see uh, okay. any green grass. Oak trees uh, here at the back, they have this yellowish surrounding on the leaves. Mm -hmm. The burning temperature is very important. Okay. And uh, with these things you can adjust um, how much micro oxidation. Winemaking is a true art and without the control of chemicals, it's an evolving process that's alive and ever-changing. Jesus, you drive like Aiden, which means very well. You know? <laughs> Time for a snack at the local restaurant that's also closed, but it helped being good friends with the chef who has agreed to cook for us. I think I'm gonna like this place. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, you know, this is the first time I've seen the person where it's actually smoking a pipe. <laughs> Times before hunters did it uh, as a joke when they were bored, they put it together different animals into one. And they combine these things and yeah, it's called Wolpadinger. And this area is famous for the uh, stacks. This color is typical for the region. And this here is more sandy color mm -hmm. and not so big fur. 
The beautiful trophies on the wall are a true testament to the rich hunting culture and history of this area. It is truly a feast, and I get to try one of the 90 days dry-aged ribeye steaks. Damn. Back at the wine estate, there's obviously a clear, urgent need to try more excellent wines. And uh, now you can push the argon in, it will push out the oxygen, so it will not oxidize the wine. And then you have here a layer of argon, and the wine has no contact with oxygen, and then you can keep it for weeks. I just got smarter. A little bit. <laughs> There's a room for improvement. With a full belly and high spirit, the ritualistic final prep and check of the rifle draw tomorrow's hunt into mind. <laughs>